Excuse me, is your name Lori Lee? Do you work for the state or the county? Is your name Lori Lee? Who is that woman? That was Lori Lee. She was my social worker. She's the one that threw us under the bus in this whole situation. Got my son taken away from me. She's the one that kidnapped your son in the beginning? Yes. She, she do you any good at all? No. no. Not None whatsoever. So it's just a, a, a child slavery kidnapping? Yes. yes. And she's the head honcho for these people? Yes, she is. Who are those other people she was walking with? I'm they assuming uh, other social workers. They had badges around their neck and they would not, they said they didn't know anything and they wouldn't state their But names. those weren't the people that were in court with you. No. No. no just sir, just But the she that was ran, and the she would not identify herself in the courtroom. No. No, she would not. She even was, she was one of the people who ordered me to get a psychological glasses, evaluation. So, so you can, okay. Do you think you've got justice in this so-called juvenile hearing with Judge Hernan? Oh, no. Tell him what, tell him what, what he said to you. Oh, he said anything that had to do with our constitutional rights or amendments, it's water under the bridge. Mm -hmm. And he just wants to talk about why we're not uh, contracting or complying with the services that they want me to do or my husband, such as drug classes, drug testing, urinating in front of other people. Basically, they want you to jump through all these federally funded programs that give jobs to these social workers. Yes. And Do you ever had a drug issue? Have you ever been arrested or charged with drug no. position? I and have. Is your only crime is having a baby and having taken a Vicodin to avoid the epidermal? Is that basically yeah, the, the pain? Yes, and a lorazepam for anxiety. If you could get this to a jury trial, do you think a jury of grandmothers would? say that they can take your child away from you based on not going to drug classes you don't need? No. Are they going to try to give you a jury trial? No, he does not want to. We're getting a contested hearing and um, all the facts are based off an addendum report that is made by her. Um, by Lori Lee? By, by Lori Lee. And what does that addendum report say? It, it, no facts, no facts whatsoever, all lies, all um, uh, misconstrued con conceptions and, and uh, it's all based off conspiracy and it's horrible. She even let us know one day sitting in a room that she goes off of feelings. She bases a lot of her decision off of her feelings on people's personalities, the way they come off to her. That's why my son could not go to his grandmother my mother because she said that she felt she was not stable or, or fit, fit to to um, be super uh, well if this is all so where Lori Lee said all this how come she was ashamed to be seen on the camera and she didn't want to identify herself or talk to me because she, she knows she's wrong. kidnapping our son she's part of it and she doesn't want to be identified as the chief kidnappers oh, no. is that your position yes Thank you for this interview. Uh, we had a choice. It's a, con a it's called a contested hearing. Yes. The judge he looks over the addendum report and based off of that report decides whether or not we um, our, ter our our parental rights are terminated off of a report that she wrote. Which is is not based on facts. But is there, there is a subsequent hearing still now that's in Yes, the, it's set in yes. April. April? April okay. 10th. Okay, well that's, that's what you want to be prepared for and you want to, uh, we're going to talk about this on the, on, we're talking about it right now, uh, what, what they've done here and the outrageousness of it. Uh, uh, telling you that you could not, uh, that, you know, by special appearance, of not allowing you to make any kind of comments to to lay out what is going on exactly. now they said what did he say that'll all be handled at the at the hearing no it's done we mm. we're not allowed to talk about any of that stuff he did not want any he said it's water under the bridge and he did not want to hear not one mention no evidence um okay. that we well, had 
No evidence that we had. No evidence that we had. Only, only what's in the addendum report. That's it. Are you going to sue Lori Lee for kidnapping your child and sue Judge Hernan for conspiracy yeah. and in violation of the rights yes. of a citizen? Yes. And, and their uh, spouses. And suing our attorneys for misrepresentation and um, yeah, all of the above. Actually, the, the, the addendum report that the judge wants to discuss in this next hearing was written by Brianna Goodrich, our current caseworker. She's about my age and she, all of it is just about how we're not complying or going to the programs that they want us to go. To so they can make more money. We don't want a and contract with them. Yes. Because we've done nothing wrong. And they're sure. just building a case against us. Out of thin air. Out of thin yeah. air, if we continue to go to the, these classes, that's admitting to guilt, and I'm not guilty. So. All they want is our money and our child for more money. Yeah. Our beautiful blonde-haired, blue-eyed, yeah. white. And then they want you to pay. Each, uh, they want them to pay $300 a month a piece child support. They've sued them now for child support. So uh, they want you to pay child support for the child they've kidnapped from yeah, you. Yeah, $1,000 yeah. total a month. A month. Does I'm that not, seem insane? They steal your child and then they want you to pay child support for the child they stole? It's horrible. And on top of this, he lost his job. He was the top chef, sous chef. He worked for the brothers at Maddie's Tavern who are connected to Wolfgang Puck at Spago, Beverly Hills. He's globally. Globally. And he worked for the brothers for 10 years. He was a sous chef. And he lost his job because of... Having, All of this having, having, having to, to comply with their their crackpot uh, a contract, having me run around to go to AA classes because they think I'm an alcoholic. It it's it's crap. And have you been ever an alcoholic? No, no, sir. It's unfair that I'm getting charged with this. So um, you've lost your job. You've lost a good paying job. So you've got damages against the judge and these CPS workers. Yeah, they do all this to him, finding him, running him through all of this. Yeah. Uh, did you ever hear of Judge Diana Hall? No. Uh, no, sir. Well, Judge Diana Hall, this is William Wagner. This is our. This is happening today, Thursday, before we do our live show. Judge Diana Hall was arrested for drunk driving, and she still was allowed to continue as a judge on the bench. And if she could continue as a judge on the bench, I don't see why this couple can't have their own child when there was no drugs in the child other than medication for childbirth. You saw it here live, we caught Lori Lee, she's hiding over there in those buildings uh, and we just caught her by chance. And as you can see in the opening of this tape, we'll take a look at that again. You saw it here live, we caught Lori Lee, she's hiding over there in those buildings uh, and we just caught her by chance. She doesn't want to be seen. What is she hiding from? What is she afraid of? She's afraid you people will recognize her for what she really is. It's William Wagner for On Second Thought. Back to the studio. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I want the people listening to this to wake up, people. Wake up to what is going on in your name. This is all going on in your name. They're stealing people's children. They are uh, lying about them to steal their children. And then they're trying to impose bur debt burden on them to to pay for the child that they've stolen from them. Outrageous people, because you are allowing this to go on. Our posterity will condemn us if we don't stop this. We had confronted Lori Lee at one point in time and asked her if they make money off of adopting children or taking children into custody. She laughed and said, oh,